Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A glass beaker has a solid plano convex base of refractive index 1.6 as shown in the figure. The radius of curvature of the convex surface SPU is 9 cm while the planar surface STU acts as a mirror. This beaker is filled with a liquid of refractive index n small n up to the level QPR if the image of a point O at a height of small h OT in the figure is formed onto itself, then which of the following options is oblique R correct means multiple choice question. And this uh, question is asked JE Advanced 2024. Let's see what the question says. Here a glass beaker has a solid plano convex base. Here this base is plano, plano convex. Okay. And refractive index of this plano convex that is 1.6. The radius of curvature of this uh, plano convex that is 9 centimeter. While the planar surface STU, this planar surface ST and this is U, act as a mirror. Okay. This beaker is filled with a liquid of refractive index N up to QPR. Okay, this is filled with liquid and refractive index mu equal to n. Okay, if the image of a point, this part is very important. If the image of a ob point object O at a height of h, this is point O height of h from the base, and uh, OPQ if the image of a point object O at height of H is formed onto itself. What does it mean? Onto means overlap or we can say coincident. Okay. So here, then which of the following options are is our correct means multiple choice question? So here we have using heat and trial method because two values we have to substitute one value, we will get the second. So, one thing is very important here we have given this is object which is h distance from the base and here images of after reflection because here mirror and after reflection it reaches to the again O. Here very easy and very clear concept is given that is whole system works as a mirror. Why? Because this object kept at normally means there is no any refraction only reflections is occur. Okay. So, here whole system works as a concave mirror. Why? Because we know that here only one conditions when object is on center of curvature and image is formed onto. Okay. Means same position. So, it means radius of curvature. This is we know that the relation of radius of curvature and focal length that is 2f and here this total distance from the base here given that is h from the stu or ot that is h so this is equal to h then f can be written as h by 2 okay and this is focal length that is negative but here not need to put here negative sign because whole here uh, options are positive okay so this is very important fact okay now we proceed further let us redraw this diagram so whole system this whole system act as a three part first second and third so here initially this object image is formed at the mirror and after reflection it reaches to the same position so here 
we have using whole system 1, 2, 3. This is a plane mirror. This is plano convex. This is concave plano. Okay. So here we have using the formula of F effective is equal to 1 by Fm means focal length of the mirror plus 2. 1 by f1, 1 by f2, 1 by f3 and so on. But here we have using two lenses. So therefore we have using this formula. Okay. So one by one we have to find out focal length. Okay. Firstly mirror. As we know that the focal length of this plane mirror fm that is infinity. So one by fm that is one by infinity means zero. Okay. So it is the first case. Second case for this second plano convex. So let's say that is F1. We have using lens maker formula mu minus 1, 1 by F1, uh, 1 by R1, sorry, and minus 1 by R2. Okay. So here in the place of mu, we have given 1.6 minus 1. Here, the first surface, very important things, sign convection. Here, after reflection, the rays reaches from this surface to this surface. So, this is first surface. So, we have using this first surface. What is the radius of curvature? That is infinity. Then, the di ray, direction of the ray towards 2 the left to right to left and distance measured from the pole this is left to right so this is negative so minus minus plus 1 by 9 is it okay again very important condition that is first surface because ray of light comes from this surface to this surface so this is first surface and this is second surface and direction of rays that is right to left and measured from the pole so it is opposite direction okay i think so this sign convection be clear now 1 by f1 this is 1.6 minus 1 means 0 0.6 something upon infinity that is 0 1 by 9 so decimal removed 6 1 the 6 and 15 times so 1 by f1 equal to 1 by 15 okay so not need to have put here 1 f1 equal to 15 centimeter because in our formula we have using 1 by f1 is it okay now for the second uh, first second and third condition 1 by f2 So, this is first surface and this is second surface. Is it okay? So, for the second lens, again using lens maker formula mu minus 1, 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2. So, in the place of mu, we have put here n minus 1 because given in the question mu equal to n. This first surface that is R1 again reaches from here the ray the direction of the ray right to left okay and we have measure from to pole to the center that is negative so minus 1 by 9 and again this is the plane surface so radius of curvature again infinity so 1 by f2 is equal to n minus 1 and this minus put forward upon 9 okay so this is 1 by f2 now substitute all this value 1 by fm 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 in this formula okay so now substitute this value effective focal length 1 by fm that is 0 uh, something upon infinity 2 1 by f1 1 by f1 1 by 15 and here minus n minus 1 by 9 okay so here we have initially we already find out 1 by effective focal length that is 1 by h by 2 
1 by h by 2. Is it okay? Because here from the point T, OT that is H and this is uh, 2F. Is it okay? Then 2F is equal to H, then F equal to H by 2. Is it okay? Something upon infinity that is 0 plus 2, taking the LCM 45, uh, 15 3s are 45 and 9 5s are 45, that is N minus 1. So here 2 by H2, 3 minus 5N minus minus plus 5 upon 45. 2 to cancel out. Then 1 by h is equal to 5 plus 3, that is 8 minus 5n upon 45. Okay. Now, doing the reciprocal, h is equal to 45 by 8 minus 5n. So, making more convenient, easy to get to common for you know, 5. Okay. So, 8 divided by 5 become 1.6 minus n. 5 ones are 5, 5 nines are 45. 9 upon 1.6 minus n. Is it okay? This is h and this is n. Now, one by one, we have substituted the value of n. Okay. So, firstly, we have substitute n is equal to 1.42. 1.42 0.18 <coughs> decimal remove 20 18 5s are 90 and 0 0 that is h is equal to 50 centimeter is it okay so let's see here n is equal to 1.42 then h is equal to 50 so our first option is correct okay now substitute n is equal to 1.35 so 1.35 0 0.25 decimal remove then 25 3 is a 75 25 6 are 150 so here h is equal to 36 centimeter let's see here n is equal to 1.35, then h is equal to 36 centimeter. So, second option is also correct. Now, put n is equal to 1.45. So, here h is equal to 9 by 0 0.15. So, here h equal to 60 centimeter but here given that is 65 so this option is wrong now next this is uh, next point 1.48 so 9 upon 0 0.12 12 7 is 84, 12 5 uh, 5 is 60, so 75. So now here, given that is 85, so this option is also wrong. So our correct answer is A and B. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success. I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.